draw one more simple machine component using stiffener command so here i go start mechanical design part design i will keep the name of my part to default okay we are in the part modeling environment so first of all let us draw this cross section on the vertical plane and we will add the material in this direction so first of all we will produce this shape go to the sketch tool select the sketch plane profile tool and draw the shape of your profile make use of auto constraints while drawing this so this is my end point now we'll make this vertical line and this vertical line symmetrical about this vertical axis using symmetry constraint from constraint definition dialog box and again I will make this vertical line and this vertical line symmetrical about this vertical axis using symmetry constraint next I will make this vertical line and this vertical line symmetrical about this vertical axis using symmetry constraint now let us give the dimensions this is 12 and total is 24 so this vertical length is 12 and total is 24 means this is also 12 okay now this length it is 24 and this length is 10 so we'll change the distance value to 10 now we'll check the dimensions once again this is 52 and this is 12 so this is 12 and this one is 52 here we have completed the shape of the cross section profile so it is totally green now that means totally constrained I can exit the sketcher using exit workbench tool now let us add the material using pad tool from sketch based features we will add the material on both the sides of sketch plane using mirror extend tool in the pad definition dialog box total length of material addition is 180 so i will add 90 on both the sides of sketch plane so the total will be 180 now let us draw this feature select sketch tool select this as the sketch plane and first of all we will complete the shape of that feature make use of auto constraint while drawing the sketch now this is not vertical so I will apply the constraint of vertical using constraint definition then let us dimension this arc its radius is 30 I will change the value to 30 now this is in line with this so let us apply the constraint of coincidence and this is in line with this so again apply the constraint of coincidence now center of the circular arc from this edge lies at the distance of 42 so change the value to 42 and there is one circular hole so this circle concentric with this and the size of this hole is 30 in diameter so change the value of diameter to 30 so we are done sketch is green we can exit using exit tool 
Now add the material using pad tool in reverse direction and the depth of material addition is 76. Okay. Now there is one stiffener having thickness of 12 millimeters. For that I will select the center plane as the sketch plane. Select the sketch tool, I will draw one line, open profiles are allowed in stiffeners, this point and this edge coincides, this point and this circle coincides, so apply the constraint of coincidence, this line is also tangent to this circular feature, so apply the constraint of tangency. My sketch is green, it is fully constrained, I can exit the workbench. Now go to the stiffener tool from in sketch based features and enter the thickness of stiffener, it is 12 millimeters, it is 12 and here I go. So this is the simple machine component having stiffener connecting the circular feature to the straight edge. Thank you.